What's up, YouTube? King Film here. If you're new, please be sure to subscribe to the channel. Also, click the bell and turn on all post notifications so you'll be notified every time I drop a video. Today, we'll be talking about how to change mascots in NBA 2K22. Can you change mascots? Why should you change mascots? You know, everything. Because lately, it's been a lot of chatter about can you change mascots and still be able to keep your rep? The answer is yes and no. So, you can change mascots, but you just make you got to make sure you do it within the first week of the season. So you guys know season six just started. So right now you have a week to change a mascot as many times as you want within that week. All right. So all you got to do to change a mascot is go to the city hall of whatever affiliation you want to change to. All right super easy how to change just remember you got like one week to do this after the week is up if you change your i'm hearing that your um rep will we reset so you just gotta make sure you do it you know within this first week now i am a i used to be a beast mascot but i'm gonna i'm gonna be honest with you guys the beast mascot is trash it is the shortest it is the ugliest in my opinion I tried it out. I couldn't shoot with it. You can't see the ball because the claws that the mascot had is covering up the ball. You can't really see the ball if you're trying to look at the ball for your release timing. It just trash in my opinion. All right. So I switched to this Western Wildcat mascot right here. All right. It's better. It's way better than the, the beast mascot in my opinion. Now right here. I'm going up showing my guy here that he can change because he's a beast. He can change to the Knights or whatever. I'm showing you guys that he can do this. Also, I'm going to show you guys me changing to the Knights mascot just so you can see that it do work. I am level 12 here. And I'm going to show you guys in just a second that I'm going to change to the Knights mascot. I'm still going to be a level 12. This for those of you guys that don't know that you can change your mascots and still be the same level all right that's why i'm making this video i'm pretty sure some of you guys already know but some of you guys don't so hey right now i'm walking up to the night city hall and i'm gonna submit the transfer i'm gonna come up become a night mascot right here nothing hard about it man you guys about to see i'm still gonna be level 12 super easy like i said you have one week to change this as many times as you would like go over to the mascot and show you I am a nice mascot right now all right this mascot pretty cool too you know they both better than the, the beast mascot in my opinion now you can stay a beast if you want to all right the mascot is just trash the beast do be winning every event so if you want to stay over there on that side and get that double rep in the park for eight hours and all after winning the event then you go ahead and do that but me i don't need the double rep from winning event in the beast affiliation so it don't really matter about me staying loyal to the beast all right i don't like the mascot i grinded the level 44 mascot so i want to wear the one that i want to wear i don't want to be stuck over in the beast you know and trying to wear that mascot I don't, the mascot is trash so now I'm going to show you guys me switching back to the Wildcats from the night. Because I told you guys that you can switch mascots as many times as you would like. You can switch affiliation as many times as you like within the first week. So, some of you guys need to take advantage of this. I know some of you guys in the same situation I was in. Stuck. I thought I was stuck with that beast mascot, man. And I was just sick to my stomach. I was like, man, I grinded to get the mascot and the mascot is trash not only did it look trash it's the shortest mascot and it looked trash it don't got no neck and all that but when i actually played with it it was trash the mascot actually was trash i tried it out in the 1v1 market all right i went out there and tried it out it made me like it was trash like it made me do certain dunk animations like it gave me like the same dunk animation over and over again to me, it was it was just trash, man. I don't recommend the beast mascot, but hey, some of you guys might like it. So I'm just gonna go up, show you guys that I'm gonna change back to the Western Wildcat. And man, yeah, man. 
these mascots better, man. All of the mascots are better than the Beast mascot, in my opinion. The you know the Knights, the Wildcats, and the, uh, the Vipers. All of those are better than the Beast, in my opinion. But hey, you guys can get whatever one you like, though. I'm just here to let you know you do have a couple more days left to change your mascot if that's what you want to do, or just change affiliation if you want to. You know, if you don't have a mascot, that's fine. But you still can change your affiliation. You might be one of those people that's over there on the Western Wildcat who don't never win nothing. You want to come over to the Beast because the Beast going to win everything. And you get that double rep in the park. And that's nice to have that eight hours of double rep after we win all these events. So it might help you level up a little bit faster. So, hey, you can change like that if you want to or for that reason if you want to. But, hey, that's all I got for the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share. The King out.